Google just dropped something that caught everyone off guard. Hot of the heels of Gemini 3, they released Nano Banana Pro, their most advanced image generation model yet. And I can finally show you what this thing is actually capable of. This isn't another incremental upgrade wrapped in the marketing noise. This is the first time Google's image model feels like a serious all-in-one creative engine. By the end of this video, you'll see exactly what it can do, where it wins, where it loses, and whether you need it right now. Before we jump into the demos, here's what it actually is. A few days later, Google DeepMind officially launched Nano Banana Pro, their newest and most advanced AI image generation and editing model. Huge thanks to Google DeepMind for the early access, because I've been poking at this nonstop. Nano Banana Pro is basically an evolution of their top tier image model. Inside the Gemini app, you'll see it labeled as Nano Banana Pro. It's built on top of Gemini 3 Pro image, which is why this thing feels so much stronger than the previous Nano Banana. The idea is simple. They took everything people were already doing with AI images, mockups, posters, logos, product shots, explainer graphics, style transfers, all that stuff, and said, cool, let's make all of that way better way cleaner, way more controllable, and even easier to prompt. While I've been testing Nano Banana Pro nonstop this week, I realized something. The model itself is powerful, but what actually matters is whether you know how to use it consistently. Like, do you understand prompt structure for image generation? Can you replicate results when you need them? Can you scale this into an actual workflow? That's exactly why I built AI Master Pro. It's not just a course, it's a full AI hub where you learn and immediately apply everything. Inside, there's an AI tutor specifically specifically trained on generative AI, including image generation, prompt engineering. So when I'm testing Nano Banana Pro features, I can jump into the platform and ask, what's the best prompt structure for multilingual text rendering? Or how do I bad generate product shots with consistent lighting? And I get real actionable answers. And here's the cool part. We're actually working on integrating Nano Banana Pro directly into AMS or Pro. So you'll be able to generate images, learn techniques, and refine prompts all in one place. For those who join now, you'll get early access to that integration when it launches, plus extra generation credits as a thank you for being early. Links below. Nano Banana Pro is rolling out across Gemini, Workspace, Slides, Notebook LM, and Vertex AI, with availability varying by region and subscription. You'll see it in the Gemini app under the Thinking toggle, with limited pro generations on the free tier. It also powers image generation in Search's AI mode for Google One AI Pro and Ultra users in the US, and support in Notebook LM is expanding. Developers get access through the Gemini API and AI Studio. Google is also testing early tools like anti-gravity, while enterprise users will see Nano Banana Pro in Gemini Enterprise and Vertex AI. My testing was done in the Gemini app, but rollout is ongoing across all these platforms. Google's rolling out something brand new that I actually kind of love. Inside the Gemini app, you'll now have a feature where you can upload any image and ask, was this generated by Google AI? Synth ID can identify images generated by Google models when the hidden marker is present. It is not a universal AI image detector, so it only works for images created with Google's tools. And as part of that change, they're also going to remove the visible watermark on images for Google One AI Ultra users. So you still get that invisible watermark for authenticity and traceability, but you don't have to live with a Gemini stamp on your image, which is going to be much cleaner. All right, let's jump into actually testing this thing out. I've had early access, so I've played with it, kind of put it through its motions, and I know what it's good at and what it's not. The first thing I want to test is advanced text rendering. They claim text rendering is significantly improved across multiple languages, though complex or long text may still produce occasional errors. So the first prompt I tested here was create three ultra clean modern logos that each spell the word wolf in different world languages with every letter made from hyper realistic materials like wood, metal or glass. And this was our output. We got our metal, we got our wood and we've got our glass. I believe this is Spanish and this is Japanese. I have no clue if these are correct or not. I'm pretty sure this one is correct. Next up, I wanted to test the text accuracy. So I gave it the prompt. 
design a bilingual cafe menu with English and Japanese in a minimalist style, with perfectly spelled ingredient lists and prices and illustrated icons made from clay. This was the output here, and we can see we've got English and we've got Japanese. Now, I don't know how to read Japanese. Maybe somebody in the comments could let us know if it actually did the Japanese translations properly. But sure enough, we have English, we have likely good Japanese maybe, and we've got images that look like they were generated out of clay for the actual items. This is a massive leap forward. Previous models would botch text constantly. Random letters, weird spacing, gibberish. This is significantly better, though it's not perfect for every use case. Next, I wanted to push it on product photography because that's where most creators actually use AI image generation. My prompt was luxury mechanical watch on marble surface, macro lens for sharp detail, soft diffused lighting from above, reflections on watch face, shallow depth of field. Look at this result. This could legitimately be used for a high-end watch advertisement. The lighting is perfect. The shadows add dimension without being distracting. You can see the craftsmanship details in the watch face. The marble texture is accurate. The reflections are clean. I tested this same prompt 50 times with slight variations. The consistency is remarkable. Sometimes you'll get slightly different poses or angles, but the overall quality and professional feel remains consistent. Now let me show you another product shot, wireless earbuds. Prompt, minimalist product photography of white wireless earbuds on clean white surface, soft shadows, studio lighting, commercial grade, clean, professional, ready for e-commerce, no weird artifacts, no distorted shapes, no background clutter. This is exactly what you'd want for a product listing. Here's where it gets really interesting. Nano Banana Pro can now blend up to six uploaded images. I'm going to test this with a practical use case, creating a brand mood board. I uploaded six images, a color palette, a typography sample, a texture photo, a product shot, a lifestyle image, and a logo concept. Then I prompted, blend these six images into a cohesive brand identity board with clean layout and professional spacing. The result is a unified composition that respects the visual language of each uploaded image while creating something new. This is huge for designers who need to visualize brand concepts quickly. Another test, I uploaded three landscape photos from different locations and prompted, blend these three landscapes into a single surreal panorama with seamless transitions. The model blends multiple images more smoothly, though seamless results are not guaranteed in every case. In this test, the transitions are smooth. The lighting and color grading match across all three sections. This would have taken hours in Photoshop. Nano Banana Pro did it in seconds. Nano Banana Pro is a powerful tool, but tools are only as good as your ability to use them consistently. Can you structure prompts that give you repeatable, professional results? Do you understand the visual logic behind lighting, composition, style control? Can you scale this into an actual business workflow? That's exactly why I built AI Master Pro. It's a full AI hub where you can learn generative AI and immediately apply it. Inside, there's an AI tutor specifically trained on image generation, video workflows, and prompt engineering. And we're actively working on integrating Nano Banana Pro directly into AI Master Pro. So instead of bouncing between Google's Gemini app or a learning platform, your workflow tools, you will be able to generate images with Nano Banana Pro, refine prompts with our prompt creator, learn techniques from our AI tutor, and build scalable content systems all in one place. And for the people who join now, before we launch that integration, you'll get early access when it drops, plus bonus generation credits as a thank you for being early supporters. We're also about to release module five in the AI Master Method course, which covers scalable content creation systems, exactly how to take AI tools and turn them into repeatable business processes, whether you're building content for yourself, working with clients, or selling AI services. And right now, we're offering 24% off annual membership for the first 1,000 people who join. You get the full AI Master Method course, all the tools, Prompt Lab Pro, the community, weekly AI updates, and you will be the first First in line when Nano Banana Pro integration goes live. Also, 24% off for the first 1,000 people. Links in the description. This feature is genuinely fun. You can upload a rough sketch or annotation and have Nano Banana Pro turn it into a polished image. I drew a terrible stick figure sketch of a person sitting at a desk with a laptop, coffee cup, and plant. I mean, it looked like a five-year-old drew it. 
Then I uploaded it with the prompt, turn this sketch into a professional photograph of a freelancer working from a modern home office, natural window light, clean aesthetic. The result is a fully realized photograph that matches my sketch's composition exactly. The person is in the same position. The laptop, coffee cup and plant are all where I drew them, but now it's a real looking scene with proper lighting, textures and depth. This is incredibly useful for storyboarding, client presentations or just quickly visualizing in an idea without needing design skills. Style transfer is another powerful capability. You can take the visual style from one image and apply it to another. Let me show you a practical example. I uploaded a reference image, a cinematic film still with moody blue-green color grading, film grain, and dramatic shadows. Then I uploaded a second image, a basic product shot of headphones. My prompt was apply the cinematic style from the first image to the product shot in the second image. The result the result is the same headphones, but now they have that cinematic color grade, the film grain texture and the dramatic lighting treatment. It looks like it's from a high budget commercial. This one blew my mind. You can upload a group photo and reimagine it in completely different eras, genres or aesthetics while maintaining the composition and the people's positions. I uploaded a casual group photo of four friends standing together. Then I prompted reimagine this group photo as a 1980s album cover, dramatic lighting, vintage fashion, bold colors. The composition stayed the same. The four people are in the same position. But now they're dressed in 80s fashion, the lighting is dramatic and stylized, the colors are saturated like an old album cover, and there's even that vintage photo texture. I ran the same photo through three more prompts. Victorian era formal portrait, cyberpunk futuristic aesthetic, and renaissance painting style. All four results maintain the core composition, but completely transform the visual language. This is insanely useful for creative projects, social media content, or just having fun with your photos. One frustration with previous image models was that change in aspect ratios often ruin the composition. Nano Banana Pro handles this much better. I generated a landscape image with the prompt, mountain lake at sunset, vibrant orange and pink sky, calm water, cinematic composition. Then I requested the same image in four different aspect ratios. 16 by 9 for YouTube, 1 by 1 for Instagram, 9 by 16 for stories, and 4 by 5 for print. The model preserves composition more reliably across aspect ratios, but minor shifts and elements can still occur. In this test, all four versions respect the original composition. The mountain is still centered, the sky gradient is balanced, the water reflection is intact, it didn't just crop, it intelligently recomposed for each format. This saves hours of manual editing when you need the same visual across multiple platforms. All right, let's talk about where Nano Banana Pro struggles, because I promised you an honest review. First, human generation has improved, but complex poses and anatomy can still produce errors. If you're generating images with multiple people interacting, hands touching, people hugging, group poses, you'll sometimes get weird finger counts or awkward limb positioning. Second, extreme detail in text-heavy designs. While it handles short text and logos well, if you try to generate a full magazine page with multiple paragraphs of body copy, you'll still get gibberish in some sections. Third, photorealistic faces of real people. If you upload a reference photo and ask it to generate that specific person in a new scene, the likeness can drift. It gets close, but it's not always exact. And fourth, very specific brand elements. If you need a perfect recreation of a trademarked logo or a specific product with exact details, you're better off using real photos or manual design work. These are real limitations. I'm not going to pretend this model is flawless, but for the vast majority of creative use cases, it's a massive upgrade. So, is Nano Banana Pro worth it? Here's my take. If you're a content creator, designer, or marketer who regularly needs visual assets, this is a game changer. The text rendering alone makes it worth using. The ability to blend images, apply style transfers, and generate product photography at this quality level is genuinely impressive. The free tier gives you limited generations, which is enough to test it out. If you're on Google One AI Pro or Ultra, you get more generations plus access in Search and Notebook LM. For workspace users, the 
Google Slides integration is convenient, and for developers, the API access opens up automation possibilities. The biggest competitor is still Midjourney for pure aesthetic quality and Dolly for ease of use. But Nano Banana Pro's strength is its versatility. It's not just an image generator, it's an image editor, a style transfer tool, a text renderer, and a composition engine, all in one. Where it wins, text rendering, multilingual support, image blending, style transfer, aspect ratio flexibility, integration across Google's ecosystem. Where it loses, extreme photorealism in faces, complex human anatomy, very specific brand recreations. Overall, this is the first time Google's image model feels like a serious professional tool, not just an experimental feature. It's not perfect, but it's damn good. If you want to try Nano Banana Pro yourself, it's rolling out now in the Gemini app, free to test, and we are actively integrating Nano Banana directly into our platform, AMS or Pro, so early members will get first access plus bonus generation credits when it launches. Links below. Also, drop a comment and let me know what you create with Nano Banana Pro. I'll see you in the next one.